Welcome, this is Game Doc Gamer, and we're going over the video options menu here to improve your performance in Arma 3. And the, the, best, the best tip I can give you is, first of all, disable VSync. Um, now make sure your video card temperatures don't get too high, so you might want to set a fan profile in... Uh, if you have a if you have a way to set a fan profile, I'm not going to go over that here. You'll have to search on how to do that. Like a utility that comes with your video card, will let you do that. In any case, it should be okay. Turn disable VSync is first tip because if your video card, if it's on, your video card is going to. Uh, if it can't get 60, it will immediately drop to 30. There will be no in between. It'll be either 60 or 30. Second tip drop anti-aliasing. Now I've got a GTX 680, so this is these tips are if you have a very fast video card, at least currently. I put that to, if defaulted to 8x, I put it to 4. Post-processing anti-aliasing, it was something, I think the default was like SMAA standard, I dropped it to FXAA standard. You could even disable post-process anti-aliasing. Wouldn't be too bad. Right now, I mine it's set to all trees and grass, but I could even lower this up to a lesser setting. Alpha to coverage. That's not anti-aliasing, though. That's alpha to coverage. You use alpha of the texture as a coverage mask for anti-aliasing. So that'll improve the anti-aliasing. Uh, this may also help performance quite a bit post-processing. The depth of, depth of field blur. I, I hate Blur. I don't understand why anyone wants it in a shooter, especially you're in a multiplayer game. Just disable this crap. Now, there may be some, some cases where you want it on, but... Disable. <laughs> Stand HDR. I just left it on standard. Anis anisotropic filtering. I, I, it doesn't say if this is 16 or 8. I just put it to very high. But this is all handled by the video card, and generally a modern video card will be able to handle 16x or very high. I, I don't, I think that's six, very high is 16 so, or 8. Generally that's not going to get hurt performance much. And that's it. I mean dynamic lights I didn't even play with this yet. I could lower it to high if I was playing more at night or I think that's more for nighttime play. I'm not sure. And there it is. You know if you have a lesser card than the GTX 680 most of you probably do. Hit auto detect and start lowering your settings. VSync is probably the most important. Then the post processing anti aliasing, you probably want to do that next. Then drop anti aliasing to four or, you know, even disable it if you have to. And disable post processing. That's my quick tips. I'm sure it's not, there's more advanced ones out there. But this is a good starting guide. This is just what I did. Also, make sure that your texture quality, if you have like a one gigabyte card, I don't know what these demand, these settings. It doesn't tell us, unfortunately, in the menu. But if you're getting uh, like occasionally choppy performance, that you like it's loading textures for an area, try dropping this texture quality down. Objects quality, this is the uh, next one, the quality menu. Terrain quality, I lowered these a little bit. Shadow quality, that's a big one. It was at high, I put it to standard. Cloud quality, I think it was at ultra when I I put it to very high. Terrain, I have it high. There it is. Hope you guys can get good performance. I'm seeing a lot of people out there saying they can't get good performance in Arma 3, so hopefully this helps. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Check out the Arma 3 vids in my channel. A whole lot in there. See you next time. This is Game Dog Gamer.